Welcome back to Web Cafe AI. We do daily chat GBT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the scheduler feature in Zapier. And more specifically, this is going to go on our playlist for us integrating AI with all 5,000 apps found in Zap. So as we mentioned in our previous video, we are now on a journey to do all 5,000 apps in Zapier and see how AI can integrate with each and every single one. Therefore, we found ourselves at the Zap of schedule. And this is probably one of the more important zaps out of every tool that's on Zapier because this really allows you to do tasks automatically and let it set as a day type trigger. So we're just gonna do schedule by Zapier. As always, you can find these apps in the description below. Simply click and add it to your profile. So the first thing I wanna show real quick doesn't involve AI. It's more of just a very useful tool to know about uh, scheduler when it comes to Zapier and that is gonna be its ability to work with paths. Now, specifically what I'm talking about here is in the context of maybe you wanna run the zap of scheduler every day, but only on specific days. So maybe in the week, uh, in one week, Monday through Sunday, you wanna run it four times, but it doesn't really have an option here, right? We got every week, we got every day, every hour, every month. So there is no option of like choose, picking and choosing. So you're gonna have to do this little, um, you know, loophole here. So we're gonna go ahead and choose our time of day. We'll just say noon. From here, we're just gonna hit continue. We're gonna go ahead and test. Perfect. All right, and then the most important variable we're gonna be looking at here is gonna be that pretty day of the week. Essentially, that right there is gonna give us the ability to do what we wanna do. So we're gonna go ahead and hit continue here, and we're gonna choose the tool of paths. Now, why are we choosing paths? Because paths is what's gonna allow us to do our feature. So assuming that basically there is five max paths you can do but think of a path as a different setting up a new zap right so one zap that you see on the front end think of a path as its own zap that essentially when you click into it it has to meet certain conditions in order to continue and you would continue that zap as if it was its own you know running uh zap if that makes sense so essentially in this context since we have a max of five paths we can go ahead and make so i'm going to do this in this context, in theory, you could have five different Zapier flows found within one Zap. This helps you consolidate Zaps so you're not just jumping around. There's 20 different Zaps and there's too many, too much stuff going on. If you know the variables you're looking for and you know how to achieve it, this is going to be a really nice friend of yours. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just delete this real quick. And I'm just going to show you one example. And then what we're going to do is then we're going to jump into the second part of this tutorial where we're going to be looking at essentially how to integrate AI in the context of scheduler. We're just going to rename this to Monday, Thursday. If I can spell today. All right. And then we're going to go add new path. And we're going to say only continue if, and then we're going to do pretty day of the week. And then we're going to say contains. It could be exactly matches. It's not too important in this context, but we're going to say Monday. Then we're gonna say or, or is important here because it can't be both. You can't have Monday and Thursday on the same day. Then we're gonna do pretty day of the week and then we're gonna say contains Thursday. So therefore, this will only go down this route every Monday and Thursday. And as you see here, it worked today and it would have went down this route because today is Monday. Happy Monday, y'all. And from here, essentially, you can build out all your different paths, your conditions based off the pretty day of the week. I wanted to show you that real quick. Let's jump into the GBT leveraging that with the scheduler specifically the use case we're going to look at today essentially is grabbing task data that can be found within a company as you see to the left of me and we're going to use gpt in order to optimize it into a effective schedule this could work with other platforms such as trello or asana and grabbing their api and then grabbing the task found there and then doing this same flow here i wanted just to show you the process with something as simple as google docs so i just went ahead and pasted that mock task list there and let's go ahead and proceed to start off, we're going to go ahead and just change this to every every week. Let's say every Sunday we have updated that Google Doc with all the tasks associated with the week ahead. And we want this to automatically run on Sunday at noon. Therefore, allowing us to kind of sit back. Maybe we pasted it on Friday and then we're going to come back to it later. Or if you're using an actual API thing like Trello, you'd be able to automatically get live data put in. So you don't have to do any of the process with the Google Doc. But we're going to say from that we're going to grab the data from the google docs we're going to choose google doc i'm going to say um find document i'm going to hit continue here i'm going to choose our account which is going to be our courses account here from that we're going to specifically find it in our youtube zaps 
and we're going to be able to grab it right away. So we got in our YouTube zaps, the document name. Let me go ahead and grab that. It is called activities from here. We're just going to go ahead and put it right here. And we did spell activities, right? But it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and continue here. We're going to test this action. And then this should find the data uh, within that document. Now, one thing you might notice is the output actually doesn't give us the text associated with the documents, but we can troubleshoot this by simply adding a webhook. And essentially right now in the way the API works, it, for some reason, when you find a document, it doesn't also grab the contents of that document with text. So we're going to use a function of Git in order to receive that information. We're going to choose a URL here. And with the URL we're looking for is going to be file text. See how it says exist, but not shown. Then we're going to get new here and then we're going to hit test that action. Perfect. So as you see here, we got our formatted text here of our agenda. If you feel like you learned something up to this point, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at Web Cafe AI. But let's go ahead and put a bow on this tutorial and add our chat GBT block here. And you can go ahead and take the formatted data that's going to come from this chat GBT block and push it towards anything Slack, uh, any type of messenger. We're going to just send it as an email just for our use case. We're going to go ahead and do conversation, continue, continue. And then we're going to say based on the task outlined here we do semicolon parentheses to maintain data we're gonna do text and i'm going to say generate a an optimized schedule or an optimized agenda for the week to come i'm going to give context context this uh task or this was accessed on Sunday, we now want to make an agenda for Monday through Friday. And we're gonna say parameter. I am busy Tuesday and Thursday, Tuesday and Thursday. And for the other days, I would prefer between, uh, let's say 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. All right, let's go to see if we need to uh, maybe adjust it a little bit more. But from here, we're gonna go ahead and upper model to GPT-4 as we're dealing with more of a comprehension thing here rather than a grunt task. And then from here, we can do an outputter of agenda made just so we can maintain the formatting. And then we're gonna hit test action. And then we'll see if we need to readjust that prompt. All right, perfect. So as you see below me, we were got our optimized schedule. It took into account that Tuesday and Thursday I was busy. It only did Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then it provided the time. It even respected the time frame between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. And then it essentially, you know, goes over the specific agenda that we're looking to achieve within the parameters we set. Now from here, let's go ahead and just add a simple. Gmail block. This could be structured in any way. Choose any type of messaging platform. And we're just going to say uh, send an email. And then we're just going to input that into our body. So then you would put whoever you're sending it to here. Maybe you're sending it to yourself. Subject agenda for week. And then from here, we can go ahead and put in the body of that conversation that we just had. Perfect. And then you could add an attachment, label it, continue, send, and it'll be good to go. Okay, so we went over a simple use of AI when it comes to the scheduler tool. Make sure to check out the playlist at the end of this video as that is gonna be the one dedicated towards us addressing all 5,000 apps on Zapier. So also make sure to subscribe and stick with us on the journey. I ensure you that throughout this journey, you're gonna learn a ton of stuff when it comes to AI automation. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.